Hello friend! In this video, we are going to make this really cool rainbow. It doesn't have any color, but who says rainbows have to have color to be really cool? So let's get into the video and practice some of the coffee techniques I showed you in my previous do-it-yourself pattern papers. So let's get to it. Grab your stuff. This is going to be fun. So here I have my mixed media paper. Um, I'll link below which one I use. It's pretty um, affordable, so you can get it too if you like. Um, I'm in Europe, so I don't know the price for this paper in other parts of the world. But I know that whenever I shopped at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you can use coupons. So that actually helps. I order mine on Amazon. I'll link it below. So here I just put some water down in like a upside down U shape or an N shape to start my rainbow and it's just water and um, coffee on top of it, dried coffee. Um, now I'm adding coffee to the next layer and I wanted to leave this little gap in between um, each rainbow curvy line so that it will pop a little bit more otherwise it will look flat. So I know this is flat and it's, you know, just a painting, but um, I wanted to play with it a little bit and give it a little bit more dimension and this will give it kind of like a shine to it. So here I'm just applying it, um, trying to evenly um, space it around. Sometimes I just take my brush and I put it in my towel to take the extra coffee away. And in this case, I added salt. Remember that I love my salt so that um, it will suck up some of that coffee and it will leave a little bit of like a white mark on my paper. And every time I did one little layer, I let it dry. So I don't know, I work in different projects at a time so that I don't get desperate <laughs> waiting for it to dry. Um, this is just um, some watered down coffee and I'm just doing the same thing I'm applying my coffee to it and in this occasion I'm going to show you a new technique um, that I've learned experimenting and what I have it's a little bit of water like a finger or two um, height of water and I added five drops of Clorox the bleach and it will take away some of that color leaving like a spidery vein look to it. You're gonna see it um, in a little bit but I just grab a pen, um, a brush that I'm not like too attached to and I'm just dabbing it into the paper. Sometimes I leave more, I let more bleed through, sometimes I just let a little bit bleed through but this leaves really cool marks um, on my paper and it just takes the color away so I thought that was pretty neat. Um, and on the next one, what I'm going to do is paint with my bleach water and then drop some coffee into it and see the reaction there. So um, you're going to see it's pretty cool. By the way, if you like what I do, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss a video or another experiment, <laughs> like I call them. Um, and if you like to see more, if um, YouTube isn't enough of me, um, feel free to go over to Instagram and follow me there. Um, I post different pictures there and some projects that I don't get the chance to uh, film. So that'll be cool for some extra inspiration if you're looking for it. But anyhow, you just saw me apply the bleach water here and then I'm just dropping some coffee into it. it has kind of like the same spidery you know um, effect to the coffee but it doesn't go as you know thin it doesn't spread as much like I thought it was gonna you know do so this part was already dry so I apply a little bit more but um, yeah I like what it did you know it was kind of like the black and white in reverse kind of <laughs> kind of thing and now I'm just adding a border because I do want my last one to have like a little border around it 
and this just gives me you know it's it's not floating there I mean it looks cool floating but I didn't want to leave it like that um I'm probably gonna hang this in my boys room and I'm going to add some fine liner um, later on when it's dry so I wanted it to look not you know I don't like perfect but I wanted it to look a little bit more put together if that makes sense so if you have any questions leave them down below I'll be happy to answer them um, and now that it's all dry um, what I okay you know I love my splatters so now it's dry and I wanted to add my splatters to it um, the last coat it's not dry so but that was intentional you see how I apply more to the left than to the right or, or to the bottom but it's like left bottom right top that kind of balances out my composition here so now I scanned it and printed and I'm trying to decide what I want to do to my um, piece here I do it this way first because if I don't like something or if I want to change something I have the chance to do it on the actual piece so I just scan it print it play with it anyhow now to the real deal I decided I like those little spiral thingamajingies but in black not in white as I did in my other and I like the center like the first um, part of the rainbow the inside of it that color because it already you know it already has a lot going on and I didn't want to add more to that but um yep just having fun here with my little spirals and feel free to let me know if you like my printed version better or this one sometimes I re you know when I'm doing the voiceover I'm watching the video again or watching what I'm doing again then I'm like mm, I wish I've done something different there or mm, that looked good why did I change it so just you know does it happen to you because <laughs> it happens to me all the time now this is a little trick I learned in art class um, I tend to work with both my hands and I use my right hand more to like for fine detail I have more control over it. I'm a um, right-handed person when it comes to writing and doing detail but um you know put the paper down below and you won't smear if you're a lefty too so anyhow thanks for watching guys this is my final project and hope you have an amazing day bye <laughs>